Good evening, YouTubers. This is Brew by Me. Uh, it's been kind of a busy day, uh, kind of tired. I uh, have some beer, like I said, I have to get uh, reviewed. So I looked in the fridge, I seen this Erdinger Weiss beer. It is from Erding, Germany. It is 5.3 ABV. Um, the world's most popular wheat beer. Erdinger Weiss beer is a traditional Bavarian wheat beer brewed in strict accordance with the Bavarian purity law of 1516. Erdinger Weiss beer is bottle fermented like champagne, resulting in a unique refreshing taste. Its glistening golden straw color and majestic frothy head are unmistakable. Anyhow, a bunch of useless information really. Let's crack her open see what we get. My little Bose opener. My Erdinger wheat beer glass. Not too much smell in there, guys. Anyhow, it's uh, Sunday, November 6th. Um, I was out and about today and uh, I found this really uh, cool place uh, across the border from where I live, so on the Quebec side, uh, called Brouhaha. And uh, it's quite the uh, nice little uh, beer store. Um, basically, they carry over 300 different types of beer. 95% uh, of them come from uh, uh, the province of Quebec and the other 5% they import so pretty much any Quebec microbrewery that you guys know of or would like to try they have it there um, it was kind of cool it was kind of like a candy store to me today so I had fun I picked up some stuff anyhow let's get on to the smell Okay, well, there's a little bit of citrus in there, not too much, it's probably coming from the hops. Light golden in color, two and a half fingers ahead, a nice pillowy head, as you can see. There's some fruity esters I'm getting. Maybe uh, tropical fruit like a banana or something. Anyways, I just, that's what I'm getting the smell of. I'm not saying. Anyways, let's give it a taste and I'll go from there. Okay, I'm getting some uh, citrus in there, um, a nice floral aroma, uh, kind of like a bouquet in your mouth, um, nice carbonation, um, it's an okay wheat beer, I've had better, um, yeah. So this is a bottle fermented uh, beer, so the yeast is in the bottle. Um, there's definitely fruity esters coming from the yeast they use. Um, like I said, I'm getting citrus, banana, uh, a little floral bouquet. Um, there's some wheat malt in there. There's a specialty malt in there. 
Um, the hops, I think it, they're using is a Halitower. It's cloudy. Uh, anyhow, um, if you want to try a wheat beer and that's all you can find, and give it a try. Uh, you know, it's kind of low on my chart uh, for a wheat beer, but uh, you know, it's drinkable. And if somebody hands me one of these, I definitely drink it. Um, you know, I don't really turn down too much beer. Uh, my saying is uh, it's alcohol abuse. Um, but if the beer is shit, it's shit, and that's just how it is. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys to go and try and find it because I'd be lying. Uh, it's alright. It's not great, but it's not bad. Anyhow, I'd like to give a shout out to. Uh, my friend uh, in southern Canada, Mr. Albino Rhino. I'd like to give another shout out to my friend uh, Al Rocket on the East Coast. Um, I have another friend out there too, uh, Mad Max Star. Um, and uh, I just met a new guy uh, from uh, good old Britain, Mr. Grim Viking. Anyways, if you guys get a chance, go out, take a take a. Uh, uh, now take check t check out his channel and take a look. You know he's uh, he's a really nice fella. He uh, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, you know he's he's still fairly new like I am, but uh, nice guy and uh, you know he's uh, willing to uh, give any beer a try like me. So cheers. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.